Oh, sire, it's Daddy D. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I feel like this is probably. I like that. I do like this. Yeah, let's uh, let's take Gasly. Um, I'm gonna take a roll here. Yeah, I'm gonna play like a like a Jeef curve. I assume because I want things to die. But like a mummy will will be good because it'll spawn things, and that's good. Uh, they have one elemental tied with George, who has a Murloc. 1 4 and 1 4? So this is a 2 4. Never mind. I'll take a standard curve. Weird. Ew. I don't want to take a standard curve, but it's okay. Oh, that's a cute combo. Wait, but that's not going to lead to a minion death, though. But maybe it will. Alright, let's see if we get synergy here. So, like, both of these synergize with the ghastly mask. Um, we, could, we could probably play some pretty large quill bore. But stolen gold itself is just super, super disgusting. Um, that's about having minions die. This is summoning 16. This is increasing stats. I don't really want to do the increasing stats, but Stolen Gold is pretty busted. And we have yet to make the Terragosa thing work. There's only one Baron build in this, though, that Stolen Gold would do things with. I'm just going to hope for the, uh, the synergy here, I think. I think that's my plan. Do we think that maybe we can get these done kind of consistently? I think that by the time we finish this, though, we are just going to like already be on six. I don't know. We'll see. I am a little I'm not afraid of Rokara, but I do think Rokara's got some got some stuff going on that maybe I don't want to be a part of. Or yeah. Um, I'm just kind of, I don't know. I guess I just want to level here. This is always such an awkward turn if you're taking a standard curve. We could also like level double cell by the Kaboom because it's pretty similar in terms of like these two minions. I'm always double gemming here. Yeah, let's just level. I don't know about the double cell though. I could just roll. taking this for one reason and one reason only. Okay. Uh, I only have one gem. So I kind of would like a boar here. Or no boar is fine as well. Maybe a Traumatize? 
They tripled into a five. There's a good chance that it's hero powered. But also potentially not. Between Atromides and Deflecto both seem like options. So the I, I want to even these out and by putting a gem on this one, but it that that is not the smart thing to do. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Because now they're both eight sixes and that makes me happy. If our whole board dies though, we finish uh Ghastly Mask and we get a Charlga. Oh, what a bummer. Okay. Oh, I'm so sad about that. We were so close. Okay. Uh, 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 um. Trigger two battle cries. Like a leaper would be kind of cute with all the, the mech stuff we have going on. But also like Charlie and we just find a Gamagon. We won, but it, exactly at a very important cost. Although we have no battle cries, so like Eh, eh, yup, yup. I think I'm gonna take the faux reaper. Safety restrictions because I have a plan. Harvesting and that plan involves like really, really large minions. So bear with me because I think that this is going to be either a really good thing or won't work at all. But we'll find out together. It'll be it'll be a fun journey. That works out pretty well. Another Charlie. Okay, never mind. I'm full, full. Not a full switch, but it's a pretty large switch. 
I want the second Charlie on the board. It is, it is valuable. It is indeed valuable. You tread on sacred ground. Part of me wants to like double sell though to get a uh, tunnel blaster online. I don't think we ever take like giga damage from this person though, especially if we lead with a cleave or maybe I just don't want to. I, I, I have enough to bump shields or bump enough shields. But I'm afraid that the cleave's just not going to get to attack. That's fine. It went from 12 to 20, so it's plus 8 in one turn. That's not terrible, just go ahead and play the knight out here. So I'm showing four Quillbor. The chances of someone knowing that I'm going to have a Faux Reaper is so incredibly low. Hitting that triple was real cute. Can we just triple our Charlie then? I have another Charlie? So my original plan had a Theotar involved. Wow, they, uh, I mean, that's just one really large unit, though. Doesn't, that doesn't feel like a, a fantastic idea. I mean, they are definitely inflicting some pain upon us and everything that we care about and all that. Just kidding. Uh, we, in fact, are inflicting pain upon them and everything they care about, and they are now dead. I wish I had, like, a cycle spot or something along those lines. I really just want to find one more Agamagon and I'll swap the Agam for the Agamagon. Easy. In a heartbeat. My patience is dwindling. Higher insect. There's another Charlie. Okay, math time. So every gem that gets played on this, which is four gems, is plus four plus four on Faux Reaper, which isn't actually that much. This alone is a plus four, plus four, but it's also a plus four, a plus four on everything instead of just three units. So really, that's a better deal for sure. Yeah, if that were a golden agam, we could we could justify that. But for now, this this feels like a just a really smart thing to do. Fifth 
Also, hi, Crash. How are you? Okay, now they know we have a faux reaper. There's another dark gaze. That took forever to find another dark gaze. Who even are we? What even are we doing here? We didn't even find optimal lines for- we have not used our snickersnack ability at all. Like, not once. We have simply not used it. Daddy D reigns supreme. <laughs> yeah, this will be on YouTube. <laughs> We didn't even use Snickersnack, not once! 